In this video editing tutorial, I'm going to share with you five levels of transitions in about five minutes in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you'd like to just skip all of the hard work and learning, I do offer presets for sale on my website shop, justinodishow.com shop, full of a bunch of effects and transitions that you can just drag and drop onto your clips for transitions like this and many others. So do check those out if you're interested. But of course, I also have hundreds and hundreds of free tutorials on my channel like this one. So let's get started. So the first level is just your basic cut. This is what happens when clip A goes into clip B. It's the default thing that happens whenever you put anything next to each other in the timeline. And you can see this, this line here is the cut. You can also cut between parts of the same clip. So I can just cut with my razor tool this clip from the beginning point to the end. And you'll also see a cut there within the same clip. So just because it is the most default doesn't mean it's something to skip over or the easiest. It's probably the most important transition and the one you should spend time thinking about how it works, when to cut and timing and all of that. You also have things like if I just cut to black, you know, whenever a clip ends and there's nothing next to it or cutting into a clip from, from black, everything happens with a cut. So the next level of transition is just your default transition. Aside from a cut, if I right click on any clip and apply default transition by default, that is the cross dissolve or a fade. So instead of cutting, you can fade in or fade out. So that's just the default transition. You can see this little piece of tape occur that is representing that. And you can pull that little piece of tape further or shorter to make this cross dissolve slower or longer. If I were to apply that on a cut in between our original clips, then you'll see we can dissolve from one clip into the other. So that's level two. Aside from just the default transition of a dissolve, you also can open up the video transitions section in the effects panel, and you have a bunch of other standard transitions. So there's cross dissolve, but there's also other types of dissolve like dip to white or dip to black which will do slightly different things. And you have pushes and slides. So if I do like a split open, then we can open the clip in this way. And if I highlight that little piece of tape in the effect controls panel, I can adjust things about that, like the orientation left to right or top to bottom. Taking it a step further, aside from these default transitions that you can place in between clips, you can also create your own custom transitions using keyframed effects. So I have many, many tutorials like this on my channel, but just for a quick idea, uh, let's say I add a Gaussian blur onto clip A and clip B. You can see that little effects badge highlight now. That means there's an effect on there just for reference. And I can go near the end of the clip where that default tape transition was. And I can add a keyframe on the blurriness parameter of the Gaussian blur. And we can begin at zero for the first clip. And as the clip moves over, I can increase the blurriness to a couple hundred, a blurry amount. And then for clip B, we can do the same thing, except this time add a keyframe at the beginning, make it that same blurriness amount that we ended the first clip in. And then as it progresses a bit, make it go back to zero. You can also click this little reset parameter button as a quick way to go back to the starting point. So by adding our own effects as well, we've created this custom sort of dreamy blur and additive dissolve transition. And you can start to quickly see how the combinations can get advanced. Not only can you apply effects directly onto a clip, you can also highlight your project media panel and then go to file new adjustment layer. And you can drag these adjustment layers on a track over multiple clips or uh, multiple portions of a clip or cuts. And you can use this as a way to also be able to apply effects over cuts where you might not necessarily have to apply it on clip A and clip B. You can just simply apply it onto the adjustment layer instead. And now you have an adjustment layer doing something on the clip as well. Now, you might not want to do all of this together. It might not look better than even the original one, but I'm just showing you the concept of doing it in that way as opposed to the other. Lastly, another thing you can use is masks. So under the opacity section of the effect controls panel, you can use masks and you can even use things like the pen tool or the square or rectangle tool 
and you can use keyframes and the natural motion of what's happening in the clip to take something that comes in from off the frame and mask it in like a pillar wipe or a column wipe but in this case i could just sort of play around with the mask expansion to create something like that it looks very rough because i rushed the mask outline but you could see just one sort of idea and i'd highly recommend you check out the other tutorials on mask transitions in the playlists on my channel so that's five levels of video editing transitions in adobe premiere pro you can check out hundreds of more videos on my channel and check out some presets that I offer on my website shop if you're interested. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.